Streptogrammins are made up of two key players, Streptogrammin A and Streptogrammin B. Streptogrammin A is sometimes referred to as Dalfopristin, and Streptogrammin B is sometimes referred to as Quinopristin. The Streptogrammins are only available clinically in a combined ratio. This ratio is 30% Quinopristin and 70% Dalfopristin. Proteins are essential for all cells to function and survive. Ribosomes play an essential role in the translation of mRNA into proteins. Bacterial ribosomes are different than human ribosomes, as bacterial and human ribosomes contain different ribosomal subunits. Protein synthesis inhibitors take advantage of this difference. Bacterial ribosomes are made up of a 70S particle consisting of a 50S large and 30S small subunit. Specifically, streptogramins inhibit protein synthesis by binding the 50S ribosomal subunit. Quinopristin inhibits polypeptide elongation and induces early termination of protein synthesis. Interestingly, dalfopristin works to enhance or synergize the action of quinopristin. Dalfopristin also binds to the 50S ribosomal subunit at a nearby site to the quinopristin site. The binding of dalfopristin causes the 50S ribosomal subunit to undergo a conformational change, which enhances the binding of quinopristin. In addition, dalfopristin impedes the polypeptide chain formation. The combination of quinopristin and dalfopristin results in a bactericidal antibacterial effect. Resistance to streptogramins is due to three main mechanisms. Enzymatic inactivation of dalfopristin renders dalfopristin inactive and reduces its antibacterial action. Secondly, the binding site for quinopristin can be altered, which reduces the antibacterial action of quinopristin. Lastly, both dalfopristin and quinopristin can be subject to active drug efflux. The quinopristin and dalfopristin combination is active against gram-positive coxi, including resistant streptococci, penicillin-resistant S. pneumoniae, and methicillin-resistant staphylococci. In addition, quinopristin slash dalfopristin is active against M. pneumoniae, C. pneumoniae, and Legionella species. Quinopristin dalfopristin is bactericidal against many strains of staphylococci and streptococci, but bacteriostatic against E. facium. It is important to note that the combination of quinopristin dalfopristin is inactive against gram negative bacteria. Streptogramins are fairly well tolerated, however, infusion reactions limit the widespread use of these antibiotics. The most common adverse effects are related to infusion site reactions which include pain and arthralgia myalgia syndrome. Due to these reactions during the infusion of the streptogramins, better tolerated antibiotics are used more often. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.